What's going on fam? Welcome back to a double moto today. I wanted to check out something that's been bugging me for a while now. I just really wanted to see. I wanted to answer the question, you know, what is the best helmet for naked bikes, right? I got the FZ09 and I've been riding it around and you know, like this Showy RF 1400 has been uh, advertised as like 6% reduced drag and, and it has helped. But what I, I noticed, my Panigale actually has a big windscreen on it that might have been helping with the wind. What I noticed on the FZ09 is when I, when I rode it, I actually noticed the difference in wind drag as opposed to riding my Panigale with a big windscreen. So I wanted to take the P style just to test it out on on the FZ just to see if if my thoughts on it were correct like should you get a race helmet a dedicated race helmet for naked riding if headwind is really if it really is an issue so today I'm just gonna set it up put the GoPro on and then uh, go ride for you guys so let's let's go ahead and do that I got a little flat mount here um, the trouble with the trouble with the piece does it has a sharp sharp front and I like my I like my GoPros right in the center. It's really accessible. I don't like those side mounted things, but I may I may have to do that. I may have to do something like this, but even so, like I cannot I can't find a flat spot on this on this lid, man. I don't know how you guys be setting up piece to GPRs for moto vlogging because I can't I can't figure it out, but we'll make it work. I got some double sticks tape and uh that will make it work right now. There we go. That's kind of how I. That's kind of how I do it. That's. That's it right there. There's nothing special. Nothing fancy. You know, I've, it works for me. It works for me. So I'm gonna get the GoPros. Let's go. I have some things to say. I do have some things to say about this helmet. So you saw me pick up to about 90, maybe just above it. It did get a little bit shaky. <laughs> this bike's definitely not as, uh, as refined as the Panigale. <laughs> but hey, this bike, this bike picks up, man. This bike definitely does pick up. It's a fun little toy. That was that was kind of fun. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, that was kind of fun. That was you guys, man. This this bike's gonna get me in trouble, bros. This bike's gonna get me in trouble. Um, yeah, let's let's get back to the garage. Let's get back to the studio, and I'll, I'll let you guys know what I think about the about the helmet, about the pizza. Okay, we're back. Let me unpack this real quick. This helmet is probably the most important helmet if you're a naked rider and i'm gonna tell you why right now and i'm sure you probably already know my god this helmet cut through the wind i mean it just it just sliced through the wind sitting up on a naked bike the showy rf 1400 on the panigale i i realize now that it was the windscreen that was helping it when i rode the rf 1400 on the fz09 it had more bite to it like the wind was fighting me I could feel the wind more on the FZ09 than I could on the Ducati, and now I I know why. I realized somewhere from making that first video to me making this video, I realized now that it was the windscreen that was helping it. Not necessarily that 6% drag. Somebody asked me, they're like, yo, does that 6% drag really, really make a difference? And I was like, hell yeah, it does. 
Hell yeah, but then when I got on the FZ09, it was very small. It was a very small difference from the RF1200 to the RF1400. Now I've been riding the RF1200 for four to five years, and I told you guys this, and I actually rode that helmet on the FZ09 on the way back for a couple hours from Vancouver, bringing the bike home, and it was very, it was a very small difference, but riding this, I did 90. Like probably just above 90, but I don't know how the speedos work. It might, it might have been like just under 90. <sighs> this is the most important helmet to buy if you're a naked rider. Okay, I'm gonna look at the prices for you guys. Give me a sec. Just give me, a, give me a sec. Let me look at the prices right now on my phone. Okay, I looked at them on my phone and I've seen prices before. I'm gonna tell you what I got this for brand new. Paid $7.90 shipped to my door brand new. This was a closeout when I bought it because Yanone, this was the year he stopped riding for Ducati, so they sold his helmets really cheap. But I have found some GPRs brand new for around that $5.50 mark. And I'm looking at them now. If you're thrifty, if you know how to shop, I don't even think you really need to know how to shop. Like you could just wait for the deal. I mean, there's deals out there for this helmet and you can get it for 700? This one, let's just call it 700, okay? That's shipped after taxes to your door. I got it for 790. And this was like two years ago. And I'm telling you, this over the Shoei RF 1400. Here's some things you don't get, right? That the 1400 does have. It's quieter. Is quieter and is it significant? Yes, at certain speeds. At certain speeds, this helmet is a lot louder. The Shoei R 1400 is quieter. Closable vents. This doesn't have that, but it does have this. These little tabs, these rubber pieces, right? That they kind of go into the into the vents, right? It has that. That's it. That's I think that's all you don't get with the Shoei R 1400 is. You know, the closable vents. What else did I say? I can't even remember. I can't even remember what you don't get with the RF-1400 because I was just so amazed by this helmet on the naked FZ-09. It was, at 90 miles an hour, it was still, it was still cutting through the wind. At like 60, 70, 80, the, the RF-1400 was barely, Barely cutting better than the RF1200 price. Let's talk price again. Let's let me let me go back to the price. Okay, six hundred dollars for RF1400. That's for the graphic version. Seven ninety for this. All right, shipped. So add add sixty dollars. Let's say ten percent. Six sixty. Seven ninety shipped. Do the math. What is that? One hundred and forty bucks. One hundred and thirty. Fuck, man. I'm the, I'm the shittiest Asian ever. <laughs> But yeah, it's not a huge difference. And if you're gonna be rocking this for the next five years, you know, you divide that up, that's like a little over a hundred bucks a year. What is that? That's, that's gas, that's, that's whatever. If I was a naked rider and you know, that that wind, that headwind, I don't know what to call it. I guess it's called headwind. That headwind was something that bothered me, right? I mean, just riding this FZ09 for a little while, I'm just kind of like, yeah, that's pretty fucking annoying. It didn't used to, when I, when I was younger, you know, I had a Street Fighter R6. Um, that was my first bike. I crashed it, turned into a street fighter, and then I think I was just kind of like, eh, whatever, right? Now that I'm older, I'm just like, Phew. that kind of stuff takes a toll on your body when you're trying to fight. Like you just wanna, you just wanna be comfortable on the bike. Surprisingly, the Panigale is more comfortable to ride than than that naked bike. You know, it's got the big windscreen, so it just all that headwind just goes above my head. This, this is it. This is the helmet for naked bike. I don't really care what, you know, that 6% drag, like it's, I get it. I get it. It does make a little bit of a difference. I don't want to say it's like so drastic, <sighs> but the piece, the GPR, man, if you're, if you're a naked rider and the noise, the wind noise doesn't bother you, you know, throw a Senna on there. Um, yeah, this is it. This is the, this is the helmet. Get the, get the GPR. I mean, you know, the, the RF1400 is definitely improved. Do not get me wrong. If you're an RF1400 fan and if you need the closable vents and you need a quieter helmet, that's the helmet to go with is the RF1400 for sure. One more thing that this is, this does better than the, the RF1400, the liner on the AGVs, including the K6. I've felt the K6. It felt, it felt exactly like the, the GPR. The liner is, 
freaking amazing, dudes. It is freaking like the, the liner on the showy, just that material. It, it's the same material as the 1200. I had to change it a little bit, but feels like the same material. It scratches my face and my ears, dudes. This one, I don't know, whatever they're using in here, whatever that, that material is, it feels like, kind of looks like suede or something. Whatever that material is in there, AGV, man. You guys, I've never felt like I, I've gotten my money's worth as much as, you know, cause this was the most expensive lid I've ever bought. Even my RF 1200, I didn't, <laughs> I bought that thing used, man. I paid like 125 bucks and it came with everything. Uh, some guy didn't, you know, he sold his bike and he was like, yeah, I rode this a couple times. It was brand new, um, 125 bucks. That was the best 125 bucks I ever spent. I spent 790 on this. And I'm, you know, I'm, I'm freaking happy, man. This is way lighter than the Shoei RF-14. I mean, freaking way lighter. The K6 versus the uh, 1400. You guys will see a review in that coming up. The K6, just, it's way lighter as well. I mean, the K6 weight compared to this, very, very, very close. If you guys like this video, you know, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. If there's like some kind of background noise that's like my heater going on and off, I'm in the garage. This is my garage YouTube setup. If you follow me on Instagram, uh, it's right here. Adobo underscore moto. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.